Let me start this out by saying this is far from a guarantee, but snow lovers, we do have something to keep an eye on as we move to the middle of January. I'm meteorologist Jonathan Kegis, and if you're new here, we talk and track all things weather. Now, this doesn't look like a crazy cold pattern by any means, but there may just be enough to get a little something going through the middle of January. The potential system that we are breaking down here has been hyped up pretty good already over social media, showing crushing snow through the Carolinas and Virginia. Now, I do think we are going to have a little something trying to get going as we we move through the middle of January in parts of the Mid-Atlantic and Northeast. You can't rely on those snow maps just yet. More than a week out, garbage. Here we go. Anytime you go snowstorm hunting, you want to look upstairs first. This is the upper level pattern, and we do have pieces there. Big Ridge out west, dip in the jet stream out east. Here is our potential developing system here. Now, we're fast-forwarding all the way out to January 14th, 15th in that kind of realm moving through the south and potentially up the east coast. Now, I will say that model I just showed you different already from the crazy 12Z European run that blasted the Carolinas with snow. Now, while I do think wintry precip is going to be possible in that 13th, 14th, 15th time frame for parts of the deep south and mid-Atlantic, those numbers were just crazy and likely not going to happen. If you are enjoying this video, please give it a thumbs up. It really does help us out a lot. The number one ingredient you need for snow is anyone, anyone, it's the cold. Now we do have some of that. We're looking at the surface pressure here and we do have a nice big chunk of high pressure hanging out over Canada. Here is our potential developing storm moving through the south. Now you see this inverted pressure pattern here down the Appalachian Mountains. This is a prime cold air damming setup, meaning we have that high pressure off towards New England and into southeast Canada, funneling some cold air right down the spine of the mountains. So if we do, in fact, get this storm to develop, and again, we are in kind of the correct pattern for that to happen, it's going to move into some cold air that's going to be meeting up with this system. Is it going to be enough? For some, it probably will. For others, it might end up being an icy mess or a cold rain. So this is the European Ensemble mean now for snowfall through about the 16th of January. Of course, the West continues to get blasted. We've well documented that with the atmospheric river train continuing and continuing to bring in that Pacific moisture. Back east, though, you do see a footprint here. The Ensemble is hinting at snow through parts of the Carolinas and then through Virginia. And it's going to be close again along the coast. The main question is, will we have enough cold air to offset some of the warm Atlantic air that will be pulled in by any developing system. That is the main question. But again, in this crazy, ugly wintertime pattern that we've had, it does give snow lovers at least a glimmer of hope, something to watch for through that 13th, 14th, and 15th time frame of January. So again, at this stage in the game, those model numbers plastered all over social media, they don't mean anything. You got to go with what we know so far. The upper level pattern, check. We do have something to get a little something going through the south and into the northeast. Number two, we know that the cold air is going to be marginal, but there is some to play with if we can get that system to hit it just right. And then number three is, as long as we stay in this El Nino-like pattern with these atmospheric rivers coming through California and then working the way across the southern tier of the U.S., we're not going to see extended cold air outbreaks. So this may be our only shot for a decent snowstorm in the month of January because that pattern looks to continue at least for the next couple of weeks. So the moral of the story is there's a little something something that's going to try to get going as we get through the middle of January. It's nothing to get too too excited about just yet. On the excitement meter I'd probably put this more of like a 5 out of a 10 just because there's not a ton of cold air in place but we will have a little bit as we showed you earlier in this video. Nonetheless those models you see over social media mean nothing at this stage in the game. If you are interested in keeping up with the development of this potential system you've come to the right place. Please hit that subscribe button. We would love to have you in this weather community.